Happy holidays and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, today I'm gonna to be making some sugar cookies. Um, these sugar cookies are cookies that you would use if you were gonna be cutting out um, shapes, you know, Christmas um, jingle bells and stockings and different things like that to decorate for the holidays, to give to Santa or just to, you know, enjoy yourself. And so for today's recipe, you only need a few simple ingredients. This is a very, very simple and very basic recipe. Um, so you will need to have three cups of all-purpose flour. You'll need two sticks of softened butter. I use the challenge butter. Um, I find that it gives the cookies a little bit more flavor. Um, so challenge butter you use and unsalted. Be sure your butter is unsalted. You'll need just one cup of sugar. Um, every time I share this recipe, I get people saying, well, just one cup of sugar, you're making sugar cookies. Well, you have to keep in mind that for these cookies, you're gonna be topping these with icing and different things that are sweet, so you don't want your cookies to be overly sweet. So just one cup of sugar. You're also gonna use one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then you'll need one egg, and I like to have my eggs at room temperature, and then you'll need vanilla extract, and then one of your favorite um, flavorings or extracts to add in. All right, let's get started. So for this recipe, I recommend using a standing mixer. Um, I recommend that because with the uh, sugar and the butter that you'll be mixing together, you'll need to mix that for about four to five minutes using a paddle um, attachment if you have that. And the reason for that is it's gonna help your cookies to be light and airy and fluffy. Um, so you want it to mix for about four or five minutes and I find it to be easier to use a um, hand mixer. So you're just gonna take your butter, it's already softened. We're just gonna add that in there and we're gonna let that um, just kind of mix around for about a minute before we add in our sugar. So we have two sticks of unsalted butter. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Get that going. All right, so we have our butter nice and creamed. I creamed that for about a minute. Now I'm going to add in, I apologize, here we go. We're gonna add in one cup of sugar. We're just gonna add that in. We're gonna turn our mixture on and we're gonna give this about three minutes um, to get it nice and incorporated. Um, you'll see that it'll be light and fluffy. So you wanna do that for about three minutes and then I would take a spatula and make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl and give it about two more minutes of mixing till it's light and fluffy. All right, so while my butter is mixing, I'll pretend that's mixing because I don't want that noise to overpower my voice. Um, you'll go ahead and take your three cups of flour. You'll add in your one teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure it's baking powder, not baking soda. And then you also have about a quarter um, teaspoon of salt. We're gonna take that in. We're just gonna whisk that around, get that ready for to add into our mixture there. So we'll get that nice and going. All right, so I've been mixing this for about five minutes. You see that it's all incorporated. It's nice and light and fluffy. So we're just gonna scrape the sides there and we're gonna add in our egg and our extracts. All right, we're adding in our egg. And again, that's a room temperature egg. It just helps to incorporate the butter and sugar. Um, and we're just gonna give that a quick mix, just a quick one. And then you're gonna add in about one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And you wanna make sure that it's um, vanilla extract, not the flavoring. Um, I feel like this has a better flavor. It's a richer, a deeper flavor. So we're gonna add about one and a half teaspoons of that. And then um, as far as another extract, now you could just leave this simply with the vanilla extract, or you could go for a little bit more flavor. And we like to have a little bit more flavor in our sugar cookies. So you can add about a half a teaspoon of one of your favorite extracts. So it could be, um, you could do peppermint extract, you could do orange, you could do lemon. Um, for this case, I'm gonna do almond. Um, I think that this has the best flavor for me. So I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of almond extract just to give it a little bit of flavor. And again, you don't have to add that in. That's just a little touch that I add to my cookies. And we're gonna give that another mix here. You want to make sure also that you're scraping the sides of your bowl. So we're just going to mix this for about 30 seconds. All right, we're going to go ahead and stop and we're going to scrape just to make sure we get that egg uh, mixed in there well. And we're almost finished with this. This is pretty quick and easy. My kids love to make this. Um, like I said, just a few ingredients. It doesn't take much to make some sugar cookies. All right, we're going to mix that for another uh, 30 seconds. 
Now we're gonna gradually add in the flour mixture that we have. You wanna do that on a low speed that way you don't get flour flying everywhere. So you're just gonna gradually incorporate that. So just slowly add it in. And it's very important at this point that you are scraping the sides because you wanna make sure that all of your flour gets mixed in with the butter and sugar. So we're just gradually adding that in. All right, as you, as you see here, um, I'm just starting to mix the flour in. So it's quite crumbly. So you're gonna mix this. You wanna make sure definitely that you have your, um, your standing mixer locked because at this point, um, it's gonna be kind of tough on the mixer to get all of this mixed in. And you'll notice that right now it looks real crumbly. Um, you'll know when it's time to take it out because it'll pull away from the sides and it won't be as crumbly. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this. I have my mixer locked. We're gonna mix that just to get everything incorporated. And as you see, it's pulling away from the side. So that's a good sign for me. All right, see how it's all clumped together? It doesn't take long at all. About another 10 seconds. See how it's pretty much cleaned the bowl itself, huh? All right, so we have it all there. And that is our sugar cookie dough. All right, so the next step would be just to take your dough out. Um, as you see, it's all here ready for me. Um, of course, my hands are clean. I wash before I even get started. Um, so you're just gonna take all of the dough out. You have it there. You're just gonna knead it on a um, lightly floured surface um, just to get it all incorporated there. Just knead it a few times. And then you're gonna take this and you're gonna wrap it with um, some saran wrap and you're gonna stick it in the refrigerator for about an hour. Um, you don't necessarily have to refrigerate this dough. You could go from the mixing bowl straight into the oven if you choose. Um, I just find that the, the cookies have a better texture after it's sat in the fridge for about an hour. So I would wrap it in a saran wrap, put it in there for an hour, and then we can get to rolling. All right, so now we have our rolled, our dough that we placed in the refrigerator. Um, it's been in there for about an hour, so we're just gonna take that out, unwrap it. And I have a lightly floured surface here. I'm just gonna take this, and if you want, if it's easier for you, you can um, break that in half, that's what I typically do. We're just gonna take that, we're gonna mash it together a few times, smash it down, and then we're gonna take our roller, make sure it's floured a little bit, and we're just gonna roll that out. Um, for my sugar cookies now, everyone has their own preference on how they like their cookies. Me personally, um, for sugar cookies, I like my sugar cookies to be kind of thick and soft. Um, I'll eat the ones that are, you know, um, kind of flat and crispy, but I love um, these kind here. Um, it's our family favorite. So you're just gonna take that and roll it, and I would roll it until it's about a half an inch to a full inch thick, depending on your preference. And then you're just gonna take your favorite uh, cookie cutters, and you're just gonna cut them out. All right, so we're gonna cut, and then you're just gonna take the excess um, dough that you have and roll it out again and start over. So there we have a shape and Christmas tree, and as you see, it's about a half an inch thick, and so it'll remain about this size um, after it bakes. So you'll take this, you'll place it on your cookie sheet, and you'll keep them two inches apart, and then um, the trick to making soft sugar cookies is your bake time. So I bake mine on 340 degrees, and I bake these for approximately 11 minutes. I know that's an odd number, but what you wanna see is that um, when you look at your cookies, they're not brown on top, because if they're brown on top, more than likely they're gonna be crispy inside. You want them just to not look shiny anymore. So they're gonna have like a dull color. The very bottom, you'll see that they're lightly brown. I'm um, just toasted a little bit. Um, but they are cooked, they, they will be finished, um, but just a light color there. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of these rolled. We're gonna get these in the oven and then I'll show you the final product. All right, so here we have it. We have our cookies fresh out of the oven. Um, I let them bake for um, about 11, 11 and a half minutes. Um, Cause when I looked at them, they still had a little bit of shine on top um, and now they look like they're perfect. And so you wanna make sure that you allow your cookies to cool on the um, cookie sheets um, before you transfer them to a cooling rack 
or definitely before you frost them. So you don't want to frost them while they're warm. Everything will just fall off of them. Um, so give them about 10, 15 minutes to cool on the baking pan, uh, the cookie sheet, and then transfer them to a cooling rack so that they can cool. And I would give them at least 45 minutes to an hour to cool completely before you frost them. And then a tip for you uh, as far as frosting them, and keep in mind I'm no uh, cookie or cake decorator, um, but you definitely wanna make sure that you allow the icing to dry on the cookies for a few hours before you uh, place the cookies in an airtight container. And these cookies will stay fresh um, if you keep them on the counter for five to seven days. If you keep them air in an airtight container, they'll last you and they'll still taste as fresh as they did, you know, coming straight out of the oven. So if you take a look here, um, some of the feedback that I got from um, someone that I shared the recipe with, they said it doesn't look cooked. They don't look done. They're definitely uh, cooked. And like I said, they'll continue to cook a little bit while they're sitting there cooling. But if you take a look at the bottom, it's nice and brown. So you don't want the tops to get too brown. Um, really, you don't want them to get brown at all. If they become brown, then more than likely the cookie is gonna be crisp. And if you like crisp cookies, then you know, go for it, let them brown. But you know, I prefer to keep mine a light color and then you'll get that golden brown at the bottom. And again, this was a 11 and a half minutes on 340 degrees. And as you see, these cookies are nice and thick. And if you break that apart, it's um, nice, soft, and fluffy in the inside. And my husband would say that's how I like my men, but um, nice cookies there to decorate. Um, you could decide that you just want to, myself, I like mine plain with a cup of coffee, um, but these are definitely perfect holiday cookies. You can even make these for like Easter, for you know birthdays and other celebrations, but definitely um, in preparation for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Um, quick, easy sugar cookies that are delicious. Um, quick, easy recipe. So if you have any suggestions, feedback, or um, if you give it a try, leave a comment for me. That way I can, um, you know, just get some ideas from you all. But if you have anything you'd like to share with me about these cookies, or if you have a favorite sugar cookie recipe, please feel free to uh, share that with me. I do have another sugar, co sugar cookie recipe that's just gonna give you those nice, soft um, sugar cookies with the crystals. Um, so I do have that. Hopefully I can get that um, video uploaded here soon. Um, but definitely enjoy these cookies. Enjoy the holidays with your family. Um, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my page. Um, it definitely does help me out. Um, and I love to share uh, my love and joy of baking and cooking with everyone. And I hope to have more videos coming out soon. I hope you guys have a great holiday season and be sure to take care, okay? Till next time.